Yum, yum. Hello and welcome to this introduction to the Instant Lighting Kit for Modo. The idea behind this kit is that I wanted to create a workflow that would allow me to create really beautiful lighting really, really quickly. So one of the things that I always found slowed me down when wanting to test a bunch of different environments in my scene is that I open the preset browser, double click an environment, test it out in my scene, maybe rotate it, maybe change the brightness, decide it's not right, come back to the preset browser, try the next environment, and so on and so forth. So I wanted a workflow that was more immediate, where I wouldn't have to repeatedly keep coming back to the preset browser, but rather just have one preset that would load a bunch of environments into my scene, and I could cycle between them using a rig. And so this is the idea behind the Instant Lighting Kit. If I click the button on the toolbar to open the kit, you can see there's three categories of environment you can choose from, studio, interior, and exterior. It also comes with an infinite plane and three choices of sweeps, all different sizes. But let's start with the studio environment. So I'm just gonna double click that to load it into the scene. And once it's loaded into the scene, I just need to zoom out slightly to find the control locator. And clicking on this is gonna bring up all the controls for the kit. But before we start looking at the lighting, I'm just going to do a couple of other things. First of all, I am going to hide the tripod head for my camera. I'm going to go back to my instant lighting kit and I'm just going to add a sweep to my scene because it's going to give it more of a studio environment feel. And with the sweep loaded into the scene, I'm just going to unpause preview and we can have a look at the results. So as you can see, with very little effort, we've already created a studio environment for our shot. But let's have a look at the rig to see what kind of controls we've got. The first control is the environment selector, and this allows us to cycle through 12 different studio environments. There's also a rotation control, a saturation control, which allows us to desaturate the environment in case we wish to, and an environment brightness control. So let's start with the rotation. I'm just going to rotate this by 90 degrees, and you can see that changes the lighting, and obviously keep rotating it is going to keep changing it. And that means that with the 12 different environments, in combination with the rotation control, there's an enormous amount of variety that can come from this rig. So let's quickly cycle through some of the other environments to see what options we have. And you can see number two is subtly different. And as I rotate it, the lighting is going to change. I can also change the brightness, reduce it, increase it. There's an enormous range of options here. So let me just show you some more examples. This environment has a little bit of color in it. Let's rotate that one. You can see it's really changing the look and feel. And as this one clears up, you can see it's giving me really nice results. I could use this as the final lighting for my shot and it's only taken a few clicks to get to this stage. But let's cycle through some of the other options. Go to the next environment. You can see this one's slightly more contrasty. And obviously as I rotate the environment, the direction of the light is gonna change and it's going to profoundly affect the resulting lighting. So let's cycle through a few of the other options. If we go to eight or nine, we have some low contrast, very diffuse environments. You can see very soft shadows, quite nice even lighting. Or 10, which has some color in it. And you can see as I rotate this environment, it's gonna make a very profound difference. In fact, I'm just gonna let that one clean up to see the final result because I think it's pretty nice. And this is looking really nice. And once again, I could use this as the final lighting in my scene. There's no need to add any additional lighting. Let's have a look at the last two very quickly. Number 11, slightly more contrasty. Number 12, and this one has a little bit of blue in it. And once again, if I rotate this, it's going to change the lighting quite dramatically in the scene. And so what I like about this workflow is that it allows you to iterate, it allows you to experiment, and you don't need to keep going back to the preset browser. You've got everything loaded in the scene, and you can simply play with the controls until you find something that you like. But what if I decide I don't want a studio shot? Maybe I want to show the camera in action in the outdoors. Well, in that case, I'm going to hide the sweep. I'm going to reveal the tripod head. Let me just pause preview. And I'm going to go back to the instant lighting kit. And this time, I'm going to load the exterior presets. And so now, if I return to the scene and click on the locator controls, you can see that everything's been set back to default. And if I unpause preview, the results are going to be very, very different. The outdoor environment that's in the number one slot uses pretty diffuse lighting, so rotating this environment doesn't really change the quality of the light so much, although it does obviously affect the background. However, as you cycle through the options, we get different times of day, 
and also more directional light and rotating these environments is obviously going to make a really big difference to how your scene reacts. So I'm just going to quickly cycle through some of the options. You can see there's a really wide range and every time you come to a new environment it's worth just checking the rotation control because you can see it really makes a big difference to the outcome and you can get a lot of variety so it's well worth spending a bit of time just exploring all of the controls and just seeing what kind of results you get and so by cycling through these options you're going to come across all sorts of different times of day you've got diffuse light you've got direct light and once again by playing with the rotation controls you can get all sorts of different results and you can make some really really attractive renders really very easily and as you can see it's just a lot of fun just going through all the options and trying them out and seeing what suits your scene and what suits your tastes so i've revealed the sweep again and hidden the tripod head and we'll have a quick look at the interior selection so let me just load these into the scene and with that done let me just quickly unpause preview and let's open up the rig controls once again. And one thing that's really nice about these interior environments is they have a very different feel to the studio environments. They're usually more contrasty. There's always hints of color in there. There's more complex and interesting reflections. And of course, you can rotate everything, cycle through just to see the variety that's on offer. So I'm just gonna quickly just fiddle with the controls so you can have a look at the scene as it updates and I go through some of the options that are available. And I really like the mood I'm getting with this option. This is really, really nice. So as you can see, the rig delivers an enormous amount of variety and also allows you to get professional looking lighting extremely quickly. And it's not just for product shots. You could use it for architecture or indeed for any kind of scene. So let me show you a couple more quick examples. So here I've got an architectural scene and I've loaded the exterior presets. Once again, I'm just going to play with the rotation controls just so you can see what a profound impact it has on the lighting of the scene. And again, how much variety you can achieve just by playing with the rig basically and so if you need to render out different times of day different kind of weather conditions the rig is really useful for doing this kind of thing so i'm just gonna let you watch as i go through some of these settings and play with the controls just so you can see exactly how wide a variety of different lighting conditions you can achieve And so what I like about this rig is that it really allows me to bring my scenes to life and to try a lot of different things. I don't get stuck in a rut using the same lighting every time just because I've got 36 different environments with endless permutations which allow me to create lots of different variations in my renders. So here I've loaded my model maker scene into Modo and once again I've loaded the exterior presets from the instant lighting kit and I've just played around until I found something that I thought looked nice and as you can see it's giving us really really good results and the kit is providing all of the lighting in the scene there's no other light so you can see if I turn the environment brightness down preview is going to turn completely black so I'm just going to turn it back up and once again I'll just let preview clean up. And so just as before, I'm just going to change some of the controls just to show you some of the variation that you can get just by playing with the rig. And one thing that's worth noting with these rotation controls is that if you want more fine grain control, because when you're using the slider, you can only move up and down in five degree increments, but you can just click on the number and enter a precise integer value if that's what you'd like to do. And here you can see the change in mood that I've achieved in the image simply by moving this rotation control, nothing else. But let's try a few other permutations. So here's another quick variation. And here is another. And again here, a markedly different mood and a different look and feel. And another rather beautiful variation, and let's try one final one. 
So as I hope you can see, the Instant Lighting Kit, as well as being incredibly convenient to use, also allows you to be playful and exploratory. And best of all, it gives really great results with the minimum of effort. So just to finish off, I'm going to show you a few of the renders that I've created with the Instant Lighting Kit, just to show you the range of subject matter that it can tackle. It really can be used in any situation where you need realistic lighting.